The Battle of Drummond's Island was a conflict between the U.S. and the village of Utorora on April of 1841 at Drummond's Island. The cause of the conflict was the disappearance of the American seaman John Anderson, who was suspected to have been murdered by the village natives. In retaliation, the members of the expedition killed 12 of the natives and burned the village to the ground. The USS Peacock was commanded by Lieutenant William L. Hudson, the commander of the United States Exploration Expedition. Wilkes had ordered Hudson to explore Drummond's Island, and Hudson had learned from a member of his crew that a merchant ship had wrecked on a reef off the island's northwest coast years before. Most of its crew were massacred, except for a woman and a child, who was supposed to still be alive. On April the 6th, the Peacock anchored off Utorora on Drummond's Island. Hudson went ashore with a couple of Navy officers, as well as the scientific corps. Initially, the natives were described as calm and peaceful, and they led the Americans to their village center. Utorora was said to be where the massacre had taken place, and Hudson wanted to inquire about the shipwreck and the stranded woman and child. The natives spoke nothing of the incident, but parts of the vessel were found inside the village huts, though most of the buildings were deemed off-limits. All was well until Hudson and his men were returning to their ship. They noticed that a member of the procession was missing. A search was undertaken, which came up empty. But as the Americans were boarding, the natives tried to surround the sailors and marines. The natives threw rocks and waved their weapons at the boats as they were shoved off. While no one was harmed, Hudson waited for reinforcements, which arrived the following day. After it became apparent that the sailor would not return, Hudson attacked the town to administer punishment against the natives. About 80 marines and sailors landed at daylight. Around 700 native warriors were dancing in the jungle near the beach as the boats pulled in. Walker demanded that they let the seamen go, however the demand was ignored and the natives entered the water and headed for the boats, forcing them to retreat a small distance. After this, Walker turned his boats around and opened fire with a rocket at the mass of warriors. He then ordered his men to begin volley fire, which devastated the natives and they retreated, with them going back into the bush and the Americans landing. The natives were not gone for long. Many returned to defend their villages and they unsuccessfully skirmished with Americans for hours. When all the buildings of Odorara were burned, Walker and his men moved on to another nearby village and destroyed it as well. There were no American combat casualties, but the armed boats were damaged in some way during the action. Twelve Islander natives were killed in the fighting, and many others were wounded. Later during the expedition, the Peacock sank without loss of life in July of 1841 while sailing into the mouth of the Columbia River.